Hey, me and Matt here. I did a video a couple of weeks ago, like two weeks ago now. UFC 148. Really happy that Anderson Silva got the title. I'm um, really a big fan of Sonnen. But, uh, anyways, now for the Raw review. Uh, I really like this week's Raw. Um, making sense for a good thing for next week's 1000 Raw. Uh, many, many good memories, you know, 1,000 episodes, uh, really, really cool, you know, but too many to name, I won't do a list, anyway, so, Sam Punk came out, basically, and talked about money in the bank, and saying how, you know, he won, but AJ was a little lost, but she pinned, you know, Brian, the shoulders to the mat, and of course, Sam Punk is still a champion, and she was disappointed, but... Then the Big Show came out and started jawjacking with, uh, just basically talking smack, saying how the fans don't respect CM Punk like they, they don't respect the Big Show, you know, and I think that I'm a little, I'm kind of disappointed about Paul Wade's character. They make him, um, they make things difficult for veterans, give them really stupid storylines, kind of like, you know, Chris Jericho or, you know, when Bret Hart came back and they gave him the U.S. title even though he didn't really need it. You know, it's the same thing with Paul White and the Big Show and all this other bull crap. But anyway, so... Kofi Kingston and R-Truth defeated primetime players. But before that, AJ was... No, this was after, actually. Brian interrupted her and said he wanted to ask her something, but then Eve came out and started talking smack about uh, AJ, which, of course, I'm a huge AJ mark, so, you know, that was, I wasn't happy about that, but then uh, Daniel Bryan said that after their match with uh, Eve and a guest of her choosing, or an opponent or a partner of her choosing, he was had to ask her a question. So I was interested to see how this was going to go. Um, I think they're going to make uh, Daniel Bryan or, um, a face again. But I do going to happen. I don't know. But Alberto De Leo, uh defeated Zack Ryder. And then after that, he assaulted Zack some more and then had the triumphant return of Rey Mysterio which you know I heard that he was on drugs or something and that's why he was on probation for a while but it made it out you know if I'm spoiling it whatever you know they made it out that Alberto beat the shit out of him and he left for a while but he's back now so we'll see how that goes and then, uh, we had the Heath Slater, which is probably one of my favorite heels, besides Daniel Bryan, you know, because you know, they can be really good heels, but don't have to use profanity or bad language, you know, and that's pretty cool, playing it up for the kids, I guess. Anyways, so he's talking smack about the people he's faced in the past, Dark the Clown, Bob Backlund, Psycho Sid Justice, and then Rikishi comes out, and Rikishi looks really good for however old he is now, and paid a really good tribute to Umaga and Yokozuna. So I thought that was cool, and I thought it was a really nice touch to have him dancing with his sons, Jimmy and Jay the Usos. Then we had Daniel Bryan and AJ take on the return of Miz, who returned the Money in the Bank, and Eve. And then after the match, which was a, a pretty good match, not the greatest, but it was a good match. After the match, Daniel Bryan um, proposed to AJ. So I don't know whether they're going with this storyline, but, you know... I hope it's not what I think it's going to turn out to be. Um, who knows, though? I mean, Raw is always full of surprises. Um, 
and I'm not sure how the fans reacted at, at first. So, if Daniel Bryan's turning face, that's fine. Um, then right back, and uh, Jack Swagger, well, they didn't have a match. They were going to have a match, but then they just beat the shit out of each other, and the match and everyone started, which really pissed me off. Because I thought Ryback could have actually had a match with a superstar of Raw or SmackDown, but that never happened. Oh well, that's that's life. And Dolph Ziggler came out, the winner of the SmackDown Money in the Bank, and basically said he was better than Bret Hart, better than Randy Savage, better than everyone else, you know, and then he was going to say he was going to be a better champion than Chris Jericho. I actually said undisputed champion, which prompted Chris Jericho to come out and, you know, talk about another guy who's, who looks a lot older now, and, you know, it's true, they look a lot, but he really look, is showing his age, but he still, he still has it. 